Hey guys, I just wanted to go through a install video for a seat belt replacement. This is a C8 Audi RS6 Avant 2021. Uh, I think it will work for a lot of the Audi platforms. It, it's a bit complicated. I did it the first time on the driver's side. Now I'm gonna to try to show you uh, the installation for the passenger side. These are the tools that you'll need. We're just doing the front uh, seat belt replacements. You could be doing this if I uh, if it got torn or ripped or damaged. I'm doing it personally just to change these black belts out to some uh, red ones with a, a black border. So here you can see a picture of the driver's side. What I would suggest is lay it out like I did. Make sure you take a couple good photos of it laid out this way so that when you send it in, I'm using a company called Safety Restore, Restore, Safety Restore, which I've had great luck with in the past. You send this component in, they basically put a uh, new webbing, new a new belt on it. And then um, I do this just to make sure that all the components are in the same orientation, same direction. So uh, the picture will, will help you as, you as that gets returned. I also have labeled it. Uh, with the left there just um, to help me make sure that I'm keeping everything straight. You'll need a T25, a Torx 25. This is for one of the uh, bolts that secures this on. That's actually, it goes in right here. You'll need a T30 for a couple of these plastic fasteners. I'd recommend a headlight several plastic trim tools. You will need a M10 triple square. So size 10 triple square. I think there's three bolts that you'll need for that. And uh, one or two of them would be helpful for it with an extension. And then a couple small screwdrivers and a handy little grabber just in case. This is my car up on the four post lift. I'm just uh, working on some stickers. I'm trying to get an idea for sizing. Uh, these are some Boston forged wheels I put on. This is an amazing car. Love this car. Just uh, want some red seat belts. So one thing I would recommend, of course, is moving this front seat all the way forward. So that gives you a better access to these panels. And then we're going to start taking the trim off. next day and uh, we're going to tackle this uh, trim removal and remove all this black belt. As you know we got our trim pieces. If you can see right down here there's this uh, plastic piece that I actually don't have to remove. The whole thing I just have to pry it up just a bit. And that's what's going to allow it to come up. So you don't really have to remove this whole piece. This is just, have to get it up enough because you can see there's this large piece that goes underneath it. Because this is the piece that we need to remove. Again, just be careful. Removing the trim just in a stepwise fashion. Front. We're going to lift up the trim on the passenger side just enough so that the lip can be removed. And then this side will be put down first, and then the two uh, panels on either side will be able to be removed.
these are the clips. You can see the, the belt comes through this little panel here and then there's this little tab. right here. See that just kind of folds in there. So that piece can be set aside carefully. Alright, that exposes. This is the um, air conditioning and heating little tube that then exits here. This is the tricky part that I came across on the other side. This needs to be carefully removed this way. So as we remove this trim piece here, we'll just have to be careful with that. Removing two kind of flimsy pieces. So that's the little connector there. foam exposes this little connector. There's this little tab here that needs to be pressed down. And then that releases. So it's this tiny little tab here that just needs to be pushed down and that can be released. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can quite see up here, but uh, here's the roof uh, headliner. And again, I just have to pull this down just enough because this panel slides kind of up underneath it. So just enough to give it a little bit of room. that slides down you can see there's these tabs that go up underneath here one thing to note is that there's this hole here which engages with this little tab of course that allows the seat belt to slide up and down to adjust for people's height. As you can see, pretty tight quarters here. That's the bolt that holds or anchors the belt down here. You can see the where it inserts right here. That attaches the way just there. And then this is this slider. I'm gonna twist it, bring it out. It's attached to a cable. Kind of an exposed, looks like a gold clip.
so. I'm gonna have to paint this little gold clip. There's these two uh, arms of the gold clip that you have to actually pinch together that allows this metal ring to slide. This is plastic. This is this is hard metal. So this is what actually you know gives the actual tension to the belt. This is just the plastic housing that surrounds it, and then that housing can. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it all back together and clamp it shut. So now the end of that is free. And you can see the cable here. So now we should be able to pass the belt buckle No, just gotta get it the right angle. And then that slides right through. Sorry, M10, this is the triple square again. It's actually not that tight. I'm just doing this with an iPhone. This is my first time trying to video a, a disassembly operation. Uh, so, best of luck. There's a total of three of these little plastic fasteners. Now we're using the T30. That's what one of those looks like. As the screw inserts, it just expands those flanges. That's number three. That, and that's what allows you to get this air conditioning tube out of the way. It does detach down here. I might actually see if I can just leave it attached and just bend it back. You can see there's a little clip that fastens this. It needs to be pushed in and then twisted. under a decent amount of tension once it's, once it's released it'll just twist and then it'll you can just pull it fairly easily out from that slot next is this t25 right here holding the actual tensioning belt mechanism the kind of the brains of the operation down here I didn't notice any Loctite on any of these. Now to remove uh, three wire connectors. Let's see if I can. So we're gonna remove these three. I just popped this orange up and that's what should release that one. Tight quarters here.
remember this is German engineering, so usually there's a method to the madness. So if it's too tight, most likely something's not quite released, and then many times a wiggle is helpful for these. Okay, so there's that one. This one, the orange tab just comes out towards the driver's seat. It just kind of releases that way. And then and that just releases there. It's going to go back in just like that. I would say take multiple pictures along the way so you can before you remove something so that you can uh, just reference that and then that'll tell you how things go back the orientation i did quite a bit of that on the driver's side this one's back here is fairly easy it's just you there's a little tab to push down and then that releases that towards the front of the car so those three connectors are now loose. Time for that M10 triple square once again. Kind of nice that it's all the same size. That's the bolt that secures the seat belt assembly. There's a little tab that you lift your raise into that slot, push backwards. And then that comes right out to you. So it'll reassemble just like that. Well, that wraps up the disassembly. Two critical things. One, removal of that upper B pillar trim. That was the most critical part. Be very careful as you're removing that. Take it slowly, use the trim tools to remove it and then pull it back towards the rear of the car so that you don't um, damage the air con vent. I did that on the one side and that was painful. Number two, I didn't show it very well in the video. On the end uh, where it's going up towards the front seat, there's a ring at the end of the belt that engages into a cable plug. Uh, make sure you pull that cable out of its little home. That'll give you access to the housing, which you can undo that plastic housing, kind of slide it about two millimeters and then it'll pop out pretty easy. It goes in pretty easily. So that's it guys. Best of luck, go get them. Thanks for watching.